Okay, let's go. Jimmy, can you tell me which element of nature these crackers are polluting? Yes, they are polluting our air. Yes, that is why it is called air pollution. What was that? It is called noise pollution. Like horns of buses, airplanes taking off and landing sounds, crackers, they all create noise pollution. Noise pollution! <coughs> Let me note. So, there are two types of pollutions. Noise and air. No, there are two more. Let me tell you. Oh, let me think. Oh yes, one was where people were throwing plastics, wrappers on land. It was land pollution. Let me note. And the fourth was where people were throwing things in the river. And also unclean water was going into rivers from factories and houses. That was water pollution. about how to reduce pollution. These are three R's. Why? Oh, to reduce pollution, we should remember these three R's. Three R's, three R's, three R's. What does it mean? The first R means reuse. What it means? It means try to reuse things. Like these empty cartons can be reused. Yes, we can use the backside of these pamphlets for the rough work. Reuse! <coughs> oh, this water is going waste. Let's turn it off. Oh, this is the second R. What is that? We should reduce wastage of things. Oh, R for reducing. See, the second light is of no use when the main light is on. Yes. See, these mat sticks are made of wood which comes from the trees. Yes, if we use more mat sticks, trees would be cut and there would be less oxygen. Yes, we should use more of lighters and save trees. Oh, even these chopsticks come from trees? Yes, we should either use spoons or we should use metal chopsticks. Reduce! What is the third R? That is recycle. Recycle? See here, this water can be used in watering the plants. Oh yes! That way, we can recycle water. Recycle! Now you know how we can help in reducing pollution? Yes, now let's not speak. We would reduce noise pollution. <laughs> <laughs>